Today, we're gonna teach you how to drill K500 Monel. Oh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and today we're gonna teach you how to drill K500 Monel. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna invite you guys to hit that subscribe button if you love what we're throwing down, all right? You love this video, hit the like button, and if you have ideas for future videos, put it in the comments, and you might see it in a future vlog. And I also wanna tell you, we've updated our academy. Our free academy that teaches you CAD, CAM, and CNC machining has now been upgraded, all right? So you guys can go to academy.titansofcnc.com. You can actually download Fusion for free. You can go learn fundamentals, learn the masterclass stuff, all of it. It's all going to greatness. Go check it out so you can rise to greatness also. Boom. All right, so let's get back to it. So if you actually look back in our videos, you'll see that we recently released a video on milling Monel 400 and then milling K500, which is 400, but with an additional long aging process. So what they do is they actually take the 400, they melt it, they add in aluminum and titanium, and then they heat it for like a day and a half. It goes to 1200 degrees for 16 hours, drops down to like a thousand degrees for another eight hours, and it just goes through the process. During the process, the aluminum and titanium distributes and crystallizes around the grain structure, which creates the hardness and strength in the material. So in simple terms, after the hardening process, K500 has three times the yield strength and two times the tensile strength of the 400. So today the focus is drilling it. And when we look at drilling nickel alloys, our range is about 30 to 100 surface foot. And we play in that range depending on the hardness of the material, how gummy the material is. So when you look at recent videos, when we drilled Hastelloy and Inconel, you could see that we were right at about 80 surface foot, right? Because we're at about 47 to 57, 58% nickel, all right? Now we're jumping up to 64% nickel and it's actually been hardened with some copper in there. So we're gonna back off a little bit when it comes to the surface foot and we're gonna put it right at 70. Our chip load or inches per rev for a half inch tool should be right about three to four thousandths per rev. And since this material is gummy and hard, how about we just split that difference and go 0 0.0035 inches per rev. All right, you guys ready? Boom, let's do this.
right, so you know what's cool? This drill right here was actually used when we got started, all right? And now it's actually drilled seven holes, two inches deep right through the part, and it still looks perfect. When we actually look at the chips, we see a few different chips right here. This one is long, thick, and hard, and then it broke up nice. So I think at the very beginning, because we were at 0 0.0035, we weren't being super aggressive. It actually started stringing it a little bit, but then it broke it. And then it gave us a lot of smaller chips at the bottom going through and stuff. So the chips look pretty good. All right, so I went at 0 0.0035. If I was to do it again, I'd probably go up to 4,000. So let's give it a little bit more pressure to actually break that chip so all the chips are small. It was super silent. I know the drill can handle it, so we have success. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.